Can I just the John Stanhope, the administrator of Christmas Island, um, and what a job, you know, those folks have got up there, you know, the, the, the human beings coming in on the tide, literally having to extend the size of their morgue. Um, and he says, you know, why can't we know the name of that little child there in, the, in that coffin? Why can't we know the names of these people to give them that... Um... I think that's the boy I told you about. And what's his name? That's Abu Jafari. When I... Um, when he drowned, I... I got my, my office to ring the department and say we wanted to know his name. And there was a flurry of activity straight away saying, no, his name can't be released yet, there needs to be coronial inquest, different things need to be happening, you can't release it. And I said, I'm not wanting it to give to the media, I, I just want to know his name. Now, by the time we got to the funeral, the name became public and the names eventually do. Uh, but I, I understand exactly what you're saying because I went through it uh, and had the same pushback on me. Uh, there are reasons why you're still verifying names and often first cuts of information. So, for example, for, for Abu Jafari, the original name I was given that's on my desk is slightly different spelling. Mm. Um, but it's the same boy, two and a half months, Hazara boy. Um, but the, so some of the information can change and that's one of the reasons to not put it out uh, because until you're sure of the identity and the names, uh, you can cause all sorts of grief for people who have the name of someone who actually didn't drown mm. uh, and family members believing they've lost that person. And do you know anything about that child? About where he came from and who his parents were? Ah, uh, look, there's a, a limited amount, a limited amount that I know. 